Hey everyone, I uh, want to talk to you about your brain for just a few minutes here. Um, one of the things your brain does, its primary function actually is to ensure your survival, right? Function number one, survive. Function number two, thrive. And so one of the ways that it ensures your survival is that it looks for patterns, right? So patterns equal predictability and those patterns and those pre predictable things those are safe. Now, here's how it works, right? So if you see something that's out of a pattern you already recognize, your brain notices it and puts you on alert because now something out of the ordinary has happened. The pattern has been broken. Said another way is your brain finds what it's looking for and it's looking for these patterns. And so that's interesting when it comes to us because in relationship, we tend to find the things that we're looking for as well. I'll give you an example. I was in a conversation with my father and my youngest son last year during the NHL postseason. And my dad said to me that he does not like hockey because there's too much fighting. My youngest son says he likes hockey because there are fights and he enjoys watching that. Now, the interesting thing about them liking fights versus not liking fights is that they are both wrong. See, my father only sees fights in hockey because he believes that hockey is just fights broken up by some skating. My son, on the other hand, sees fights in hockey because he believes that hockey players fight all the time. But there's some interesting data on that. In the 0304 NHL season, there were 789 fights. In the 2021-22 season, there were 282 fights. That is a 65% reduction in fights over about an 18-year span. Some other data that I found on fighting that in the early 1980s, the NHL averaged one fight per game. Today, they average one fight for every four games. So my dad, who thinks that the NHL is just fighting broken up by skating, is wrong. But he thinks that because that's what he's looking for. The perception of hockey is it's just fighting. And so that's what he sees constantly. My son, on the other hand, who thinks that fights happen constantly and that's why he likes the game, he's wrong as well because fights don't happen constantly. And that's the interesting thing about brains is it that we find what we are looking for. Again, it is a survival mechanism, patterns, predictability, equals safety, right? And so when anything breaks that, we notice it. But the flip of that is that we're constantly looking for those patterns. My father and my son are both looking for fights in hockey. Now that's a silly example, but when it comes to our kids, when you're looking for patterns in your children, you will find them. So your child lies to you. You brand your child a liar. Everything that your child says will be mistrusted by you. Everything your child says will be questioned by you because you're looking for the lie, even if your child's being 100% honest. This is why I like to caution parents about saying that their child is stealing food because if the food is purchased for the children in the home, then it cannot be stealing. But sometimes children will take food without permission and parents will tell me, my child steals, I need you to help me make that stop. The truth of the matter is, is once you tell me that your child is stealing food, you will view your child as a thief and then you will mistrust everything that they say or do. So my advice in this video is that you look at your children through what you know them to be, you look at their potential, and you parent them not through the filters that you've created, not through the patterns that you have seen, but you parent them to their potential to raise them up to be the people that they were always intended to be.